This is the Davidoff Habana House 15th anniversary. Uh, for those people who doesn't Sweet know, Sweet Cedar. That's all I got. <laughs> Sweet Cedar. Um, God, just it's just nothing to it. It's one flavor throughout, kind of. Uh, Every single day. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assass, and welcome to another cigar review. And today we have a cigar that was provided to me by Lotus. And um, this is one of the, the ones that I haven't had yet for sure. Um, this is the Davidoff Habana House 15th anniversary. Uh, for those people who doesn't know, uh, during the time of 2020, Davidoff did like 18 different variations of a store special. Uh, Davidoff. You've seen me do, did a few reviews on different variation of those. Uh, this is one of those I have not had, so thank you, Lotus. Um, and obviously, uh, this one is a specialty wine in Texas. You had to uh, pick it up from the Habana House in Texas to get this. All right. So obviously, any of those um, 20 stores, they, they none of them provided any blend information so there's no blend information just know that it's torpedo um like a toro size torpedo obviously so uh, we'll, we'll go straight to it it's a a very sweet cedar and withdraw and plum and plum smell to it very plummy. Let's cut it. Break it off a little bit. Draw is good, but when you draw, the draw tastes like. Leather. Like a fresh leather. Like a... Like a... Genuine leather. Not top grain. Genuine. Just like... Not very tan. And that's it. Alright. Let's light it up. Hmm. The dry is good, but the burn's weird. There's a one corner that doesn't want to burn. It's weird. All right. Woodsy. Floral. Woodsy, floral, and... Salty. Woodsy floor and salty. That's what I got right now. So let's go straight to one third since there's not much to talk about in terms of this cigar because they don't disclose anything. It's just good or bad. Let's go straight to it. Be right back. All right. So one third. Now I think that this tastes just like a Dominican cigar, but like, like I don't think there's a lot of different flavors. It's smooth, but this is just woodsy. And construction's good, draw is good. Um I think that 
for the same special edition that they have from like this that's similar size that's similar cap as i think it's about 30 bucks so i we gotta say let's let's review this as a 30 dollar cigar but at the same time even though the cigar construction is good it's smooth and everything uh it's woodsy it tastes like maybe a larger gauge in a Versario. There's nothing special about this. Maybe that's what it is. I don't I don't see I don't see anything special about this. So yeah, I smoked into two third and then we'll, we'll review the rest again. We are back. Sweet cedar. That's all I got. <laughs> Sweet cedar. Um, a little bit of fruitiness, but sweet cedar. That's pretty much it. This is not. It's so. There's nothing to it. I'm sorry. There's nothing to it. I mean, it's a good cigar. It tastes good, but there's nothing to it. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's just a very smooth cigar. It just it's just nothing to it. It's one flavor throughout kind of uh thing. Here's the Havana House 15th anniversary three. I I I I wish there was something to it. I wish there's some transition. This it's just a smooth good cigar. So wow, this is a quick review. This is gonna be a very quick review. Be right back. All right. All the way down. It's a good cigar. It tastes good, but it has no change. It, the whole cigar tastes like that. So yeah, it's a good cigar. Uh, if I were to buy this, I think it's in the eighteen to twenty-one dollar range. Eighteen to twenty-one dollar range for this cigar because there's no transition. There is just cigar. It's an enjoyable cigar. It's a good quality cigar. But there's not much to it. I, I don't know why they make it as a store exclusive because it just tastes like a similar to an anniversary or something like that. Their natural um, cigar or maybe even a, a larger signature um, cigar for Davidoff. It's not a crazy one. So, you know, and typical white band on top too. So there, there's not much to it. But I guess if you're in the store and you just want to smoke something and you're chatting and stuff like that, and you're not going crazy, then that'll be fine. It's about mild to medium. Mild to medium cigar. So it's just like a muscle memory cigar. It's not a lot of difference. It's not a lot of conversion. There's no changes. Just that. Enjoyable, smooth. That's it. You know, this is what that cigar is. But still, big thanks to Lotus. Uh, tried to help me complete that whole list of the store exclusives. So got that now. Another one off my bucket list. And we'll see if we have more of those in the future. So that will be it for this particular cigar review. I hope you like it. Uh, if you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, share this thing. And if you want to, we also have membership now you can join to use, um, you know, all the chat function and stuff like that. So if you want that. Uh, if you're interested, there's a video on that. If you click on membership, there's a video on that. So take a look at that. It should be in the description as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.